So do not be discouraged about what just happened in our nation. Because the cup of iniquity is getting full. And the Lord is about to do some things that we need him to do. I'm feeling like this is what I'm supposed to do to end this. I feel I'm to commission you tonight. And all of you watching. That we can be recommissioned as his ecclesia. His governing people. His Matthew 28 people. That we would step into a new realm of revelation. I tell you the prophets that I know that I run with, they've all in the last few months felt something shift in them and they their their ability to hear and discern and see visions and dreams and prophecy and words and all just is is, is going and the reason i say that is because that's not just for the prophets that's for the prophetic people that's for the prophetic company we're all supposed to be prophetic you're never going to do what Chuck, most of you, are never going to do what Chuck Pierce does. But you can be prophetic. We're all supposed to, to release that anointing of Jesus. The Bible says all can prophesy. We're all supposed to have dreams and visions. I feel like there's, there's this new realm of revelation he wants us to step into. I feel like... I felt like that's what God was saying to us when you sang the song from Revelation 4 tonight. That he was saying, if you will just come up higher, I have some things to show you. There's a realm of revelation that we have not yet stepped into. But it is opening to us now. And I want to pray that over us tonight God's going to peel something off of eyes tonight and you came here one way and you're going to leave here a seer because that's just how long it takes him to do it when, when it's time Some of you, you can experience that Isaiah 50 moment when the prophet said, he opened my ear to hear. I couldn't hear like I hear now, but I hear him. Dreams are going to start. Words of knowledge. Lord, we thank you. For your great mercy. It's our currency. We come to the throne of grace to obtain mercy. You pass out mercy to those who humble themselves before you. Do justice. Love mercy, walk humbly before you. 
So, Lord, we're here tonight for mercy. Covenantal love is a good translation of that passage. Love, mercy. Mercy is a covenant word. Love there is a covenant word. We're married to mercy. We're in covenant with mercy. He takes no pleasure in judgment. He loves to give mercy. It's new every morning. Even when he prophesies judgment, when they repent, he turns and says, okay, thank you. Good. I don't have to do that anymore. And so, Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in the earth to judge evil spirits and principalities and powers. And, and those that have aligned with them, you know, you're going you're to do your best just to get them free. You would only ever judge in, in, a, in the other sense if there's no other hope. So, Lord, you're, you're coming to liberate parts of this planet that have never been out from under principalities since the fall. For millennia, they have been under the domination of evil, wicked spirits of darkness. But you're coming with that great light, that great kingdom light of your glory. Isaiah 60, you're coming in this hour and people who sit in darkness are about to see a great light. And people in this nation that sit in darkness are about to see a great light. And you're going to do through your people as we begin, as we continue and go to higher levels of declaration and decree and intercession and love and humility and serving them. You're going to, con you're going to do something that we could never do. You're going to break down the barriers and you're going to turn lights on and a spirit of revelation is coming not just to individuals, but a spirit of revelation is going to be begin to penetrate the atmosphere of cities, communities, states, universities, churches, businesses, parts of, of the planet are going to be under a shroud, a covering, a cloud of mercy and revelation. And angels are going to hover there. Your spirit is going to hover there. And you're going, to, you're going to break through the barriers. And you're going to anoint the message of the gospel. And you're going to bring signs and wonders, miracles, signs and wonders, miracles. You're going to bring signs and wonders and miracles, extraordinary miracles, radical deliverances, extraordinary miracles, radical deliverances, creative miracles, signs and wonders. Forty years of hard work by the kingdom of darkness is going to be broken in a moment.